Frances Weisbart Jacobs. She was initially born in 1843 in the Midwest, and she moves across the country with her husband, and they end up in Denver in 1870. So what does Denver look like at the time? Well, in one word, tuberculosis. In the 1860s, it began as a worldwide pandemic. There is no cure for tuberculosis at the time. And what doctors are recommending is a dry, sunny climate, which Colorado is perfect for. So thousands of people cross the United States and end up in Colorado. And so Frances realizes these people need help. So she first starts an organization um, that focuses on people within her own community, the Jewish immigrants, mo mostly from Eastern Europe, that were living uh, on the west side of Colfax. And then she realizes, you know, people outside of my background and my religion need help. There's, there's 30,000 people at the time um, that need help. So she begins another organization that basically helps everybody in any community that is suffering from tuberculosis. So then she realizes, you know, there's a lot of organizations. I have two organizations. Why don't we combine them all under one umbrella, under this federation? And what's interesting is that this organization actually turns into the United Way, which is now a multi-million dollar organization. So with the help of a young rabbi who comes to Denver, uh, rabbi William Friedman of Temple Emmanuel, they actually put together a um, association for a Jewish hospital and they start um, collecting funding for this National Jewish Hospital. And unfortunately, she doesn't get to see the completion of the hospital, and she actually dies um, in 1892 before it's completed. It was completed in 1899. National Jewish Hospital has done incredible work for tuberculosis, for respiratory diseases. Um, it was like the number one hospital um, in the country for respiratory diseases, and it, they wouldn't be here without her. Her work is incredible today, and then when you rewind and realize that she was dealing with the difficulties of society at the time for women, traditional gender roles, being a Jewish woman at the time, um, it's just even more incredible. 